Alright, uh, let's see. Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Scrap Making Nightmares. I don't know. I'm still working out the kinks here. Okay, so let's let's start with the obvious. Let's let's get the uh let's get the eyes in. I didn't want to work on them earlier, but I think now's now's a good time for it. Fortunately, I think we need to get uh big old platform in here so I can stand on it. Honestly, I might need to get multiple levels worth of platform up in here. Just so I can get close to this thing without falling off. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, the main issue is these these lifts don't go up nearly as much as they I need them to right now. And to think this is actually the uh the upgraded version. Oof. Okay, well. Hmm. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. My options are super limited. And not great. Because my best bet for filling this in is to kind of build as such. I don't know. I, I'm also trying to figure out exactly what I want to do, given given the shape of, of the, the eyes. Eyes? Mouth? Everything, really. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fill this in just so we have some space to walk around on the underside of this. Like, ideally, I'd like to be able to get up in, in this face and stuff like that. Okay, so, uh, this needs re-mentioning just so, just so everybody's on the same page. Uh, the music I'm currently listening to is Approaching Nirvana. Uh, that's the only thing I'm gonna be listening to for this entire episode. Uh, somebody had mentioned that they were looking for one of the songs that I was playing, and... Uh, I'm, I'm terrible at song identification, so I can't help you there, but, uh, if you know the band, that should help a lot. I'm also kind of useless and super busy. Mainly just super busy. Okay, uh, so let's... Oh, geesh. Yeah, let's, let's paint this in just so we don't have any of these, like, weird spare side areas that look awful. And let's start filling this in just a little bit. So we want to get an eye in here. Somehow. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, though. I just know I'm going to have an eye. Fill that in. Fill these in. I just don't want the extra space. I mean, realistically, we could actually give it, like, really teeny eyes. It's tempting. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna grab a crate. We gotta get. We gotta get bigger than this. Or we gotta. We gotta go up. Just a the smidgel. Instead of instead of looking at this thing wrong, we should probably look at it the right way, just so we know what we're doing. Okay. Uh, you know what? Now that I've got this, let's uh let's extend a basic platform to the side. Oh, almost fell off. Ooh, that was a grumble. Okay. Here we go. So I gotta be careful. So what do we got? I've got some I got some holes missing in this sucker, which is no good. You do not want holes in your build. Should be pretty obvious. Uh, let's nix that and nix that. Bring that down a notch too. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that seems reasonable. So what do we what do we do here? We've got We've got a chasm for this eye. Now I could do like kind of a weird upper lid thing. I can have the eyes kind of pucker like this. But I don't really like that. Hmm. 
it's also going to be a small nightmare to climb. I guess if I make like a basic staircase, this should be doable. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, yeah, so I don't like this at all. I'd rather have like this kind of weird sunken pit instead and just build from there. I'm just gonna fill these in. I really don't know how I'm gonna do this with the other side either. Uh, let's see, so let's get rid of that and let's get rid of that. Maybe I'm overthinking of this. Let's let's go with something a little bit easier. Maybe I'll build it on this box and we'll weld it on or I don't know. So let's let's have this. So last time I had um I mean, we could just have red lights on a on a cylinder that rotates. Ooh. Okay. So we've got this cylinder. It's pretty big. Move it back one. Just give it a little bit of space to breathe. Okay. And we're gonna extend this over. Let's have it match with the wall. Okay, there we go. So that, that should all be connected. Chop this off. Chop this off. Put in a bearing. Put on the bin. Uh, the, the bin? I don't even know. What do, you, what do you even call this thing? Barrel? Thing. The big thing. Put that on there. There we go. That's, that's how you English, right? No. What am I saying? I'm really tired. I was up really late last night, uh, streaming Holy Potatoes were in space, and I finally beat it, which is awesome. Uh, as much as I, I like that game, it was starting to drag on just a little bit. And it was also one of those where, you know, it's a, it's a good time to, you know, move on after a certain point. From anything, really. Spending too much time on one game is never good for this channel. Part of the always why I'm kind of like wussing around. Oh. <laughs> oh, do we go for the the creep factor here? Let's go for the weird, weird factor. I don't even know if this is creep factor necessarily. But the potential is great. Okay, so one more and then we want to start moving it up. Okay, there we go. And... Let me see. There's gotta be... There's gotta be an easy way that I can get up here. I guess there kinda is. What I can do is just fill this in here. Um... Well, actually, here's the easiest way to do it. So if I extend this from this side, it's one full plus seven. Okay. So if we extend this up here... I'm just gonna build all the way, all the way to the wall, and then we'll build back. It's probably the easiest. Okay, so there. I guess actually, if I just do another, so one full, two, three, cut. Okay, so that's that's the reasonable. Or that that's the exact measurement. So cut this off. Now let's get it get it to match the other side. So one, two, there we go. Okay, so now now both sides match and I can keep working here. Uh cut this down a little bit. So this is the top, so we wanna have this move over there. Okay, cool. So there's the this is the inner workings. The reason why I want uh need to do this is just so we have uh, an accurate measurement of how symmetrical everything is.
because I'm probably going to cut parts of this out from the inside. This also gives us a potential walkway to come work on this thing later, because I want to enclose the eyes in kind of pits. We're going to we're gonna do a uh, double eyes, make it look freaky. All right, so one, two, three from the side. Eyes, what? Okay, that's different. Okay, I think we need to cut just a little bit more there. Off. Okay, s stuff's still looking good. So is this only... I guess I might as well cut it down just because. Okay, so... We could extend this one here. Unless it doesn't let me. Okay, cool. Oh. I see. Backside. Uh, one, two, three. So I gotta cut one more off here. Awesome. Yeah, this this just makes this just makes my life easier for measurement. There's no like grid or ruler or honestly mirror mode. Mirror mode is still going to be my number one desired feature in this game. If they could actually add like a legit mirror mode to this, I would be the happiest of camp campers. Like straight up. Okay, question. Do we have the We got the pillow. Um I just want to I just want to pick a well, I guess we could just go with the this seat. It should be pretty dang obvious where the seats are. Oh yeah. That is that stupid obvious. So this lets me get up upstairs. Upstairs is relative, admittedly, but still. Okay, but yeah, this will let me this will let me get up. And I believe, judging by everything, that I can just cut. We'll get them to mostly match later. But right now this makes the most amount of sense. Um I guess I might as well fill in that gap there. Does that gap exist over here? No. I don't think it does. Unless there's not supposed to be a gap here, period. I'm confused. Well, that's okay. So it goes zigzag, zig, double zag, zib, zig, triple. So. Up, over. Up, over, two. Up, over, three. I think that's the case. It's the right measurement. Okay, so the opposite side is just a regular zigzag. From here? How high is this side? Uh, I should probably just cut off these barrels, honestly. Just for a moment. But... Too lazy. I might have to actually expand this over just so we have both. Visible. I'll see what it looks like from the other side. Okay, so yeah, let's let's cut this off. Put in the barrels, paint it up, and then then I'll figure figure life out. So there's one, there's two, and yeah, we're just gonna paint it black. I could paint it like a gray, but I don't think that's really worthwhile. The one problem is these quote-unquote eyeballs are a little goofy looking. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty goofy looking. I like them though, actually. And... Okay, so we can, we can do a couple of things. One, this does not need to be so severe. Same thing with this, actually. Let's bring it in a little bit. I feel like I'm making one of those Chinese dragons, you know? Yeah, you know. Like the ones you always see at those par parades. That's what I feel like I'm working on right now. Except for it's angrier and maybe a little bit stupider looking. Well, it's life. Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Uh... 
Is there an easy way around here? Not overwhelmingly. Easier when I approach from different directions, but that's fine. I feel like I'm mumbling to myself here a little bit more than usual, but... There's not much I can do. Okay, so we do that. Uh, we probably want that there. So for actually, we want to... We want to extend this a little bit more. Okay. So this should... Kind of work? I don't entirely know if this matches on both sides. It covers just a corner. Covers that. Life's good enough. I think the zigzag here is slightly different from the zigzag here. I think like that. Oh. Oh. Uh, mm. No. It's probably like this. Yeah, that, that seems reasonable. It's two blocks. Yeah, I, I could measure it a little bit better, but honestly, this is fine. Okay, and let's get back in into that mouth. Is it just me, or is this now touching the what? Oh. Oh, it tipped over. Oh, it's because these barrel drums are heavy. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Actually, that makes this thing substantially easier to work on, too. We'll have to tip it back over, but that'll actually... Oh, yeah, that'll be perfect for working on the beard. Okay, so let's get the rest of the eyes back on. Now, I could actually put some thrusters on here, which could look really interesting, but it could get really messy really, really fast. Do I even want that? Nah. Let's do it without the lights. The lights are neat, and maybe I'll have uh, lights to illuminate the eyeballs, but I don't think I'm actually going to have lights on the eyeballs themselves. That just looks a little weird. At least I think it looks a little weird. Okay, so let's crawl back inside this guy's mouth. Uh, let's, let's finish the paint job. I don't think I'm even going to have the, uh, the eyeballs move. I think I might just have them free rotate. Oh, that could look really, really weird, actually. With him just spinning crazily as he comes in to attack. I, I could actually have them spin too, but I don't know. I think this this guy's gonna look a little bit more comedic than uh, Darth Slugula ever did. Darth Slugula was a true terror. I think this guy this guy's just too big, so like the idea of getting him to look perfect is uh, incredibly hard. And I'm fine with uh, settling for mediocrity in favor of functionality. All right, so yeah, let's uh, let's enclose these off. We've got them acting the way we want them to. Now let's just have... Let's just have... some eyeballs. I really need to fill these, yeah, holes. Okay, uh, I need a new seat. That should be good. Okay, uh... Yes, let's, let's fill this in. Okay, so I gotta go a little bit further before I start bringing it over. Nope. Really? Okay. Yeah, it just wasn't behaving, I guess. Okay, well, that's fine. I guess the other thing I could do is actually expand this just a little bit. This way we will have benefits to, uh, or not benefits, we will have a way of doing eye-based maintenance if we ever need to. Might happen. I haven't really gotten to the point where we need to, but hey. Okay, so we've done this. Ah, right. Painted in. 
At some point I might come back through and like round it out or something, but right now I'm looking I'm looking for quick and functional because I really don't want to spend the next like 20 episodes working on this thing. I I would like to before I'm done with this series, I would actually like to sit down and do one build that is like crazy high in detail. I don't know if it would be this guy though. It'd be interesting, but I don't think it would be this guy. You know, I want to have a Herald the Dragon, effectively. Okay, so let's paint up all the parts. Getting pretty close to a good situation here. Um, even, uh-oh. I don't even know what that's going to look like from the outside. Oh, it's you. There we go. Okay, so we've got... He's got crazy eyes now. I'm gonna have to come back through and paint him. Um, but we'll paint him when the, the rest of him is done. Because we've still got quite a, quite a ways to go, at least as far as some of these parts go. But we got eyeballs now, which is kind of neat, freaky, freaky looking. A little bit of both, really. Alright, do we work on the beard next? I want to work on the beard. The alternative is we try and make it fly, but again, we don't want to work on it. Even just having these these tanks has managed to unbalance this thing drastically. And that's kind of a problem. So let's go add something really heavy to the back. And get him to flip-flop the other direction. Because yeah, if I can just teeter-totter work on him, that could work. That could work really well. I just hope I can reach. Yeah, it looks like it can reach. Might have to make, um... Can I, can I jump? Nope. Can't use those as a, uh... I was hoping I'd be able to just use the tanks as a makeshift ladder. I bring out my lift, but I don't want that. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna do a box. Covered and ultra heavy. That way it will be really easy to extricate this. Alright, is it too early for timber? Now it's coming back down. Let's get this slug turd as heavy as we can make it. Uh oh. I don't even know what happened there. Oh, that's okay. This is a substantial-ass nugget. Alright. That's enough to teeter-totter it back. It's still hanging on, though. That, that front has way more weight on it than I thought it was going to. Which is honestly really disconcerting. Okay, well, that's that's probably fine. Yeah, can I, can I zoom out? We. Yeah, I can use this thing as a mobile mobile boarding ramp at some point. Not that we'd really do any... Oh, dude, sieges in this game would be great. I wonder if they'd actually be, like, PvP and stuff. I kind of hope they don't go the way of... Oh, right. Yeah, I, I kind of hope they don't go the way of the, um... You know, I'm realizing this now, looking at this guy. I could have just made, like, a giant Aku. That would have been fun. Unfortunately, I don't have enough, like, uh, reverence for Samurai Jack to really appreciate it. Okay, but, uh, yeah, I, I could have made a giant Aku. That would have been, that would have been rad as hell, but not my style, considering. I like original things, when I can make them. Especially when I'm getting into crazy... Crazy build fights. Okay, so I'm actually gonna cut off a bunch of the excess blocks that we've got lying around here. I guess I could have used a seat to get up on top here and made it wider. Why didn't I do that? I don't know. Oh well, too late. I didn't realize I was this imprecise here. Uh oh. What'd I just delete? 
show you. Okay. So yeah, we gotta we gotta put a beard on this thing. We don't have to. I could I could just go with it as is, but I kinda want this like tentacly horror beard. I'm trying to think of like a, a good example of something that that has like a tentacle horror build. Build? Beard? I don't know. I guess I'm thinking of like uh oh shoot, what's his name? Uh Davy Jones from from Pirates of the Caribbean. Those movies are surprisingly old, which is horrifying, because I watched them when I was like in middle school, but that was like ages ago. I feel old, it's a problem. Okay, uh, it'd be nice if Durf, Durf would also make just like some big blocks that I could use. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, or actually, hmm. I'm just gonna fill this in for a second. Uh, I can just use a, uh, I can just use use seats to get up and down. There's no reason why I should, I should be like gimping myself here. Okay, here we go. Cause yeah, this, this is gonna take some effort. Cause effectively, we need a beard. Let's see, this is the this is the center point, right? Hmm. I'm effectively just gonna cover the entire I'm I'm just gonna make a giant solid box of ultralights. And we're just gonna carve into it. Until we're satisfied, then I'll just cut off the chaff and then hollow it out from the inside, probably. Um, that's probably the easiest way to sculpt this thing out. I'm, all, I, I'm going to admit, I'm a little bit worried this might take too long, but I can't think of a better way to get, like, a, a scraggly-ass tenta beard. Save for doing it this exact way. Which sucks. This might end up being something that I, I cheese out on a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how I do it. Calling help is would be nice, honestly. But I kind of want this guy to be a surprise. Like that's that's one of the reasons why like I'm picking something so ridiculous. I I really want to just be like, all right, let me summon my uh, my secret bonus final boss, and everybody's like, what did you make? And Durf's gonna be like, oh yeah, I saw this this thumbnail. Maybe Effie, I don't know. Uh, but you know. Probably Bird and Batbeard are gonna be like, what? What did you do? Because, yeah, I mean, Batbeard's like straight up dead right now, so. You know, it makes life a little bit easier. I'm noticing every time I add one of these, it, it does drop down just a little bit. Okay, so let's. Start filling in, or something. Cause yeah, I want this sucker to have a- Oh dude, we could give it like a mustache that animates. <laughs> I don't entirely know if it's Darth Slugula anymore, or just old Slugula. But... Both of these, both of these alternatives are pretty attractive to me, just in terms of humor and dumb. Uh, let's see, do we want to, do we want to just like make a beard? It's tempting. Because the Tenta beard, now that I'm like really thinking of the idea, giant pain, o pain in the ass. It 
There we go. Because, yeah, I could just go with a regular beard. And we can do it this way. Or I could say, screw it. I don't know. Because I'm not liking this. This is if I wanted to do, like, regular beard time. Which would be amusing, but... I don't... I don't think I'm... I, I don't think I'm gonna swing it. I think I'd rather go for something a little bit more... tentacly. Even if it does end up taking a substantial more... like, substantially more of my time. This seems like the best option. I'm trying to think of ways that I could, uh... speed this along. I guess I got several. One, we could actually... We could cut this free. Hmm. Cause what I could do. Well, okay. No 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut parts of this free. We wanna have uh Let's cut this down. Uh we wanna have enough space that I can get kind of the tentacles on. But also, I'd, I'd like to have enough space that there's kind of like a lump down here. Unfortunately, yeah, let's let's get the lump going. Kind of like a frog. You know, like, frogs and toads and whatever have like, those really bulbous, like, neck things? Like, those are cool. So let's do that. I'll round it out as I go along. You might be mostly square, but... This way, I at least have some things to work with. Okay. Yeah, so I'll extend this back a decent... Decently far amount. And then, then I'm going to, uh... I might just have, like, smaller scraggles. Oh, yeah. Let's do the same thing as we did uh, on the upper side, actually. And I think I will round this, this part out. We'll give him a round belly. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I'll have to fill this in anyway. This is, this is an undertaking. I'm sorry everybody that wanted, wants me to work on like something quick and stupid. It's just at this point, I really want to work on something like big and impressive. Cause quick and stupid, quick and stupid is like water bird time. When I'm in charge, I might as well work on something ridiculous that actually like, uh, you know, that actually kind of portrays me, I guess. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do is chop this off and we're gonna weld on a ton of them. And that'll make the make the general shape I'm going for here. We might still have to do some basic uh, shape making, but it'll save, it'll save time. Especially because this is actually a pretty substantial start. Uh, have we lifted the back off? No, we haven't, okay. Luckily there's no such thing as uh, there's no such thing as, like, torque or tension here. Well, I guess there's kind of torque, but when I, I say torque, really I just mean this thing won't snap in half under its own weight. That's why you don't find things as big as whales on land, to some degree. Maintaining that shit must be impossible. I guess we did have brontosaurus, but then again, brontosauruses did die out, so... I don't know. Okay, so yeah, let's go back. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. Uh, let's paint this. Let's go with a dark, uh, dark gray. 
The reason why we want to go with the dark gray is just, you know, a little bit of a little bit of a visual variety here. You can tell when I've made mistakes. Some of these are just a little bit longer than the other ones. Not that I really care. And I could have slammed, uh, slanted this around, but honestly, trying to come up with like uh, smooth curves sounds like a giant pain in the ass for this giant thing. And at some point, if I really want to come through, I'll make it look nicer. Or I'll ask somebody kindly to do it for me, I don't know. I try not to do that. Okay, so let's call this a uh, belly brace. Actually, let's just call it a rib. It's technically the wrong direction for a rib. But it's a rib. I should probably move down just a little bit further. I actually also don't know how many of these I'm going to need. But yeah, if I'm going to want to have this round out at all. This is probably my best bet. Okay, uh, oh geez. They must be colliding on each other to some degree. Okay, well, let's start grabbing them. And let's start welding them on. You know, I actually have no idea if these are even going to weld on correctly. Which worries the crap out of me. I mean, it looks like their placement's fine. I'm probably going to leave spaces in between them. But yeah, I think we're okay. It hasn't yelled at me yet for rotation, which is very weird. Oh, dude. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have these, like, rib lines. I'm going to fill in the inside of it with a different color, like white or something. That's going to look freaking sweet. Um, Do we want it to be this ribby? Because I could also... Sp sp uh, if I split it up too much... It might not look good. I don't know. Let's let's just commit to single ribs at a time. I could have also screwed this up uh, placement-wise. I did! Hooray! Whoops. Well. All right. Whatever. Let's just adjust. Nobody will know the difference except for you guys. Keep my secrets, damn it. Already asked you to keep like several today, so. Er, several today, several this series. You're on the hook. That's backwards, isn't it? Yep, that's 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 the backs. Well, uh, hmm. Damn it! Damn it! Uh-oh. Well, I messed that one up. I guess this one's as good as dead. So let's just delete it. Yeah, I knew this wasn't going to be easy. There's got to be better ways to do some of this, but I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I like this rib system. I'm committed, I'm committed to it for the time being. So I'm just going to keep welding. We're not going to try rotation.
Oh, I hope to God. The reason why it's not working is it's because it's um it's touching. I need to cut some extra ends off. Well, this is going to be annoying and time consuming, but not much I can do about it. Please be right, please be Yeah, okay, that was good. Okay, yeah, let's let's get the last of the ribs on. At least the lower ones. I'll have to figure out how to get the upper ones on. Really, I think I just need to cut the tail off of some of these. All right, let's start. Let's start from the. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, you know what? This episode's gone on long enough. Mainly just because if I don't stop here, you guys don't get this episode out for today. So I'll see you guys on the next episode of Scrap Mechanic. We'll finish the belly off, fill it in. Add some scrag scraggly bits, or maybe just spike-looking things. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I, I like the idea of spikes coming off here and there. I think that could be kind of fun. I don't know. We're making a freaky-ass whale, and I, I like it. But either way, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Scrap Mechanic. And as always, thanks for watching.